So this is a copper pot. We had, we ha still have Temura stilifera as a native species, but now the turbinata is becoming very, very dense, very, the per percentage of them are higher. They are established. But if they are replacing uh, uh, Temura stilifera, I, I, I believe that uh, they should be considered as in invasive. Isogonomum bicolor was a species that uh, was dominating our rock shores and the, the native species were replaced for a time. Now they are decreasing. Don't know if they will return for uh, detected, I don't know. A swimming crab, Caribidis hellery from China, Caribi, and now is spread in Brazil. The sun coral, Tubastreia, two species. They are spreading first in Angra dos Reis, in south of Rio de Janeiro state, possibly from the, the rigs, oil rigs. But now they are here in Búzios also. They are very nice, you can dive and see them. <laughs> This is another very nice coral, a soft coral that we have in Arraial do Cabo, very localized there. I don't know if the name is still there, they are changing so many times the name. But Brazilians is something that should be, should not be, <laughs> because it's an invasive species. The problem that can cause in other species that live close, they destroy this gorgonia. They have a reaction, a chemical reaction that they kill the gorgonia. This is the Crassostria gigas that contain it, detect it, may be invasive. Some species of uh, balanus, Balanus reticulatus is one of them. Started in Sepetiba port, Angra dos Reis, but now it's more spread. Perna Perna is a story very interesting because um, we think that they came from Africa, not from ballast water, because this happened maybe more than two, uh, 200 years ago, but we know that they are from Africa. And they don't are found in our midden shells, amount of shells that were, that were left here by people that lived here 2,000 years ago. Then we have these midden shells. In, Portu in Portuguese, nós dizemos sambaquis. Né? This area, not only uh, Cabo Frio, Búzios, Arraial do Cabo, we have a lot of sambaquis, midden shells. And then we don't find perna perna in these medium shells. Why? If they are so abundant today. And they are native in Africa. In all Africa, they live there, these species. But the problem that we are having with these species here, they are very well cultivated. This is an economic activity in Brazil. But if they are considered as an exotic species, the government now is not giving the permission to cultivate them. And I, I, I feel that I am the responsible <laughs> to consider this species as an exotic one, because I started to study this. We put established. No, they are there. Don't touch them. Leave them. They are more than 200 years. And what the ill that they they cause it, already cause it. And then if we have some benefit of them, I don't like to have a law in Brazil to prevent people cultivate them if this species is the best, I would say the best muscle that we have in our country to be cultivated. We don't have a, another species that could replace them to be cultivated then. Even as a biologist, even as a naturalist, uh, environmentalist, 
I would not mind to allow the cultivation of this animal, only because it came from Africa 200 years ago. But to our study, genetics can explain more things and to find a way to convince the government to allow the cultivation. This is a shrimp that was brought. Stiella applicata. This shrimp was brought to be cultivated, but now they are, find, they are found on the natural environment also. This is being spread, this polychaete branchio, branchio, branchioma luctuoso. Many examples that we find here. 